Hello class, this is Miss Augustine. We are continuing our chapter 10 notes. Today we are going to get to section 10.4, changes of state. So when we think about changes of state, some common ones that you've encountered in your everyday lives are condensation, evaporation, melting, freezing, sublimation, and deposition. So let's take them one at a time. And again, here's my picture of the um, hydrologic, hydrologic cycle, I can say that. And again, showing all of the different things happening. So let's start with sublimation. Sublimation is the phase change from solid directly to gas. So when you think about a bowl full of dry ice, which you may or may not have seen, that would be a solid uh, an example of solid carbon dioxide going directly to the gas. Um, in this particular illustration, this is iodine, which is a solid at room temperature, and it quite readily sublimes to this pretty purple gas, and then it encounters a surface and deposits, so it goes in the reverse direction, so you get this nice little equilibrium taking place. So again, sublimation is the phase change from solid to gas without going through a liquid phase. Deposition is the reverse of sublimation, so it is the change directly from gas to a solid. Um, this is a picture of snow, which is really not deposition, but it kind of looks cool. Um, so deposition, we can think about two examples of deposition that you encounter in your everyday life. The first one is in the fall, for instance, when the ground is cold and the air might still be warm and moist, the air encounters a cold surface and frost forms. So that would be the change from water vapor in the gas phase to solid ice. The other uh, place where deposition, actually where deposition and sublimation are both taking place, is, for instance, in your freezer. So if you have food in your freezer, um, some of the solid ice goes directly to the gas phase, and then that water vapor that's in your freezer encounters, for instance, the metal shelf and forms frost. So again, that sublimation deposition process can be taking place at the same time. Same thing happens with snow in the winter. Um, if you have a spell of cold days that it's dry, the snow seems to be shrinking. It isn't really shrinking, it's subliming, and then it may redeposit somewhere else as frost. So phases, what do I mean by phase? A phase is any part of a system that has a uniform composition and properties. Condensation is the process by which a gas changes from the gas phase to the liquid phase. So a gas that is in contact with its solid or liquid phase is called a vapor. And equilibrium is the dynamic condition that can happen inside, for instance, a water bottle. If you have a water bottle and it's got a lid on it, um, you may notice on a warm day that you'll start to see kind of a fogging at the top of the bottle. That's because the water is vaporizing, and then it's entering the vapor phase until it becomes saturated and it touches the top of the bottle, condenses back, and so you have the processes of condensation and vaporization occurring at the same rate. So that's what we call an equilibrium. So an equilibrium is um, a dynamic equilibrium is a situation where after a certain amount of time, uh, the amount of particles vaporizing equals the uh, number of particles condensing. So again, the rate of evaporation inside of my water bottle example is equal to my rate of condensation. It looks like nothing's happening, but particles are still vaporizing and condensing. It's a dynamic process. It doesn't stop. So the next set of slides that we will discuss are phase diagrams. So for now, this is Ms. Augustine signing off.